Morn greetings. Today is Wednesday, October 23, 2024. Meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be discussing the possible development of a tropical cyclone by the end of October in the Western Caribbean Sea, as conditions may be favorable for the formation of a broad circulation or a Central American gyre, thanks to the arrival of a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian oscillation. These conditions could turn favorable for cyclonic development in the Caribbean. But before talking about that, I wanted to mention that to the south of Bermuda, we had the remnants of what was Hurricane and Tropical Storm Oscar, which affected parts of the Turks and Caicos Islands, the southern Bahamas, and particularly the eastern part of Cuba. Fortunately, this disturbance is no longer a tropical cyclone and will now move towards Bermuda, where it will bring some rain and gusty winds. We hope our followers in Cuba, the Bahamas, and the Turks and Caicos Islands recover from the impact of this cyclone, and we hope it did not cause significant damage. On the other hand, I also wanted to mention Hurricane Christy, which has developed in the waters of the Pacific. However, this system will maintain a west-northwest track in the coming days and does not pose a threat to Mexico or any other land area. In fact, it is forecast to strengthen into a powerful Category 4 hurricane. So, it's good news to see that its path will be away from land. Now, let's focus on the Caribbean Sea, as we will be monitoring the potential for cyclonic development at the end of this week and the next. This is entirely normal for late October and early November, as we have historically seen hurricane development late in the season, particularly in the Central and Western Caribbean Sea. To recap what has happened this hurricane season up to yesterday, October 22nd, 15th, tropical storms have formed so far, 10 of which strengthened into hurricanes, and 4 of these became major hurricanes. When compared to what is considered normal, this hurricane season has been more active than usual as of October 22nd. So, Conditions in the Atlantic remain favorable for additional cyclone formation before the season ends. According to climatology, in late October and early November, the Western Caribbean is where we typically see the formation of these tropical cyclones. Most of them form north-northeast of Honduras or east of Nicaragua and tend to track north-northeast, threatening areas such as the Bahamas, eastern Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. Historically, this is the favored track for cyclones forming in November in the Caribbean. However, some of them have taken paths toward the Gulf of Mexico, and we have even seen development north of Venezuela, moving toward the Northeast Caribbean. I'm showing this image to illustrate where tropical cyclones typically form in late October and November and the usual paths they take. So, what will be happening over the next 10 to 14 days? A favorable phase of the Madden-Julian Oscillation will be moving from the Pacific towards the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic. Remember, this impulse of moisture and bad weather originates in the western Pacific and slowly moves eastward, eventually crossing over the Pacific, the Caribbean Sea, and then into the tropical Atlantic. As this phase of the Madden-Julian Oscillation settles over the Atlantic and the Caribbean, it often creates favorable conditions for cyclone formation. Specifically, it helps develop the Central American Gyre, which is the main cause of cyclonic development in the western Caribbean or just west of Central America at the beginning and end of the hurricane season. Additionally, sea surface temperatures across the Caribbean Sea remain extremely warm, about 1 degree Celsius above normal, nearly matching the 2023 record. So, it makes sense to expect tropical cyclone development in this area before the season ends, especially with the arrival of the Madden-Julian Oscillation. It's likely that this development will occur within the next 5 to 10 days. For this reason, NOA's Climate Prediction Center has marked the Western Caribbean with over a 40% chance of cyclonic development between October 30th and November 5th. Here at Hurricane Info, I'll be closely monitoring the evolution of global model projections. In fact, some models are already showing the possible development of a large circulation in the Central and Western Caribbean, potentially a Central American gyre, which will lead to the formation of some low-pressure systems. For example, in the latest run of the American model, a tropical depression or storm forms in the waters of the Western Caribbean in about eight days. The European model, although its latest run does not show development over the next eight to nine days, does show a large circulation forming over the Western Caribbean and generating some low pressure systems, which could result in the development of a tropical cyclone. Similarly, the Canadian model also sees a broad circulation, the Central American gyre, and some low pressure systems developing around this larger circulation. So, the arrival of the Madden-Julian Oscillation, combined with above normal sea surface temperatures, may create favorable conditions for tropical cyclone development and potentially significant strengthening in the Western or Central Caribbean over the next two weeks. In the long term, some members of the American model show the development of a tropical storm or hurricane. While this is a long-term forecast and we shouldn't be too concerned yet, 
I wanted to show you the different possible scenarios. These vary from a track as far east as the Dominican Republic to as far west as the Yucatan Peninsula. In general, most members that develop a tropical cyclone keep it on a path similar to the one typically taken by cyclones that form in this region in October. So, while the entire Caribbean will be monitoring this potential development, for now, the greatest risk seems to be for Haiti, the Dominican Republic, the southern Bahamas, eastern Cuba, and Jamaica, but will monitor the situation calmly. The important thing is that no cyclonic development is expected in the next seven days, and we will be assessing how global model projections evolve. But again, stay calm, as there's no reason to worry, and we don't have any immediate threat of a cyclone impact in the Caribbean or Central America. We'll have plenty of time to watch the situation develop, and there's no guarantee that a tropical cyclone will even form. For example, look at the ensemble members of the European model. Few of them develop a low-pressure system associated with the Central American gyre. And currently, this model's members do not show high probabilities of cyclonic development. Well, here at Hurricane Info, I'll continue monitoring the tropics, especially the Caribbean region. I'll record a new update if there are any changes to this forecast. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss these videos. Subscribe and don't forget to click the bell to receive notifications when I upload new videos. Well, I hope everyone has an excellent day. I'll see you in the next video.